Hello beautiful people, long time no see. So let's get into it. Uh, we'll do the programming out workout, I'll start with this as always. Uh, well not always, I haven't done it for a while and I'm doing PHP symphony, alright. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. And I'll start the timer. Uh, let's go, uh, first mistake. Cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So we are having 10% and 35. And listen, finished. Okay, so we will go to the next one. This one was PHP, I think. And we will do the parallel moves. Still two minutes.
All right. So we are done as our timer shows. Uh, 9%, that's slightly better. <laughs> uh, it's still terrible, but hey, I'm beginning after some while. So I will stop that and we will start the timer. I'm doing TypeScript and I have a lesson on S. So, S keyboard lets us override a type of a variable or other value. It often shows up in code dealing with any and unknown values. Any and unknown values, okay. So, I can use a string, a value as a string. Hmm. Interesting. So, I take so I take this guy over here, the A value, and I say this type will be string and then assign it in a single in a single line, okay. And then we have a number, a string length, length number, okay, so this should work and that will be one, two, three, four, five. So I'll try five. And we are correct. However, S is dangerous because it overrides the type system. Type system. When we say X as some type, we are. The, you know what? I have an idea. Maybe I sh don't have to like uh, read it from word to word, but I will. I will say my own explanation, you know, like maybe, okay, so I will read it. Okay, so they are saying we kind of override the, the setting and it might be wrong. Uh, you know, the code will behave as we have the type we assign it to uh, with the S keyword, so that could be dangerous. Okay, now we have some example, and we will be accessing the length property, uh, but it will be undefined, and I. Uh, Length is undefined, which violates the started number type. Okay, so we'll see. So we have a, a value that is unknown, equal to 5. Then we assign it to a string. And then we have a length, which is a number. And we try assign the string to length, and that will be undefined. So we either get error or undefined, and I believe we will get undefined. Oh, so error, type error, oh, maybe I misspelled it at the first time, so it is undefined, and my explanation for that would be that, uh, it uh, because it's yeah we have not set some value in there that field doesn't exist so JavaScript kind of does if you don't have anything in there even like in array if you're trying to access like the uh, out of bound uh, you know of the array uh, we will get undefined value so that would be my logic behind it so let's see what they write Okay, it is a not a not a bug. We told we retyped it. I I don't think uh, it's wrong because and the string has a field which is called a length, right? Uh, so 
I would expect it actually. Okay, so if we have a string liter literal, uh, the TypeScript infers it as a string. Uh, so if we write anything in quotes, uh, TypeScript automatically think it's string. Yep. And there are some problems uh, with it with using literal types literal types and here we will have a, some card example or card type that we will use as an example so here we have a type card and it is defined as having two fields here's a rank and suit and the rank could be a number j q uh, it could be number or one of those letters which are strings right in TypeScript and suits are uh, strings uh, those like clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades okay so I already went through this I think so uh, the, the problem here might be in assignment if I just uh, create a variable with this guy, uh, it, the TypeScript will say it is a string. So maybe I have to define it as a type, like clubs as, and in quotes clubs, because that is a, the type I think will be the solution. And here it just said undefined, which it means it has no problem in here. Okay, and here is some example. It looks like it should be fine, but it's not. It produces the error. Rate space and sheep hit our games which from suit okay. I can write type error. So they are already telling me what to type in, which is not nice. Well let's try to guess, okay? Uh, let's try to explain what happened. So we have a card. Uh, card is of type card and we have a, a rank Q and suit is clubs. Uh, the definition of a card we have a here of the type defined by type, card and the curly braces and inside of there are the fields. So the first line is okay. Uh, then we have a constant games and we put in spades, spades and here I think will be the problem, the first one, because this one takes uh, it is uh, it is a string spades now is a string and sheep he, sheep head is a, uh, is a string as well because it is in quotes so uh, or not yeah yeah it is it is because here we have a like object right so after this colon it's not the the type but is the value how do I define the type in here? Can I do it? Like, how did they they did did it so? Okay, and maybe I can do spades as something and as that. Okay, so we have a card and suit is games dot sheep's head. And that might be the problem because we are trying to assign a strict diamonds string diamonds to uh, this uh, suit, which is not of type a type of uh, string. It is uh, one of those four. So that will be the problem. So here we will have a type error. 
Okay, the problem is... Yes, so it infers the two types of the strings. Yeah, so basically, uh, I was right. I'm kind of skipping it without reading it. I was reading for for the second time, and it still doesn't go in. That inference, maybe I have to read it out loud. That inference makes perfect sense on its own, but when we try to assign games dot sheep's head to card that suit we get a type error. We are trying to assign a string to a property that's a union of four specific literal string types. One common solution is to use S to forcefully tell the compiler what type we want. Diamonds as diamonds, yeah, so I said it. So here uh, we will tell uh, the type in here and instead just spades we will just spades as spades and diamonds as diamonds and here it is and now when we say card suit uh, we will get that and that will be diamonds like so yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the only thing they are saying here is that uh, if we, it will just trust whatever we put there, so if we do the typo, the type will be that what we typed in here specifically and it doesn't check so that might be the problem what is next okay so here is uh, uh, the the problem and Here is the typo. And suit. Okay, now I'm confused a little bit because here we have a uh, suit. Diamonds, okay, so that is inside of here or, or where is it? Um, So this one, I think we'll say this guy. Ah, go back like so. Yeah. So, but say see why? Why is this here? Okay. So we assign this value as this type. There's a simpler rule to keep this risk small. Always put the S some time code immediately next to the value being converted. 
If we see diamonds as diamonds, we can be confident that the S applies to the value diamonds, which looks correct. Okay, so what they want to say is uh, we put those two the same here as, you know, like quotes, so we can see it's the same. And this will be a reference that would, might be a harder. I think that's what they are trying to say. Writing card that suit. If sheep's head came from other module, it's possible values probably aren't on our screen, so we can't immediately tell whether the code is correct or not. To appreciate the impact of this, imagine a hundred thousand line code base where the, the S is far away from the original value. Okay, so that's what I was saying, it's not on one line or okay. Okay, we don't have to use S at all and achieve to above. Explicit suit and games types. Then compiler knows that the sheep's head property holds a suit, not a plain string. Okay, so uh, yeah, so here says suit is this, 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 this. Okay, suit suit, yeah, and I also see opportunity over here uh, to convert that as well. So suit suit, let's play suit suit. Okay, yeah, that that looks that looks nice, sir. I like it more. Undefined. And here we have an example of using them. We have a card that consists of run, queue, suit, clubs, okay, and then we have a games, oh, hold on, we define the games, yeah, the games is this type games, that's what we were missing previously, I think. Let's play the diamond, so now I can assign it directly and it will be okay. So it will be diamonds. Okay, so here they are saying like it intuitively feels like we are defeating the typing system. It doesn't feel to me, um, but you just have to, <laughs> it's more verbose, you have to type out more and define the respective subtypes respectively and then, then the problems go away, uh, they say. Okay, and in compiler there is something included that kind of 
uh, catches the, the, the problems uh, uh, like the typos uh, or they say obvious obvious uh, errors which might be a lot of things I don't know Okay, so here we have. Okay, well, th this is obvious because we are trying to assign a field which is not defined on the user, uh, so this will be a type error, right? Um, yeah, sure. I would be like this one was misspelled I would be surprised but this one is kind of logical to me I would expect it like the typo in it because this not, not does not have a uh, the field which is called an mm, AEM Yeah, and they are, they are. And they're saying that it will not catch it always, and I hope we will finish it in the time remaining. Okay, so now this is the warning when we are, uh, when we would be tempted to uh, assign the type from the external sources, and I still don't know what the problem would be, like JSON or whatever. Difficult bugs. Yeah, okay, so the API changes, right? So, uh, and suddenly we will have, I don't know, like unknown fields, for example. I mean, undefined fields, for example, or other fields. And uh, the TypeScript compiler will not warn us that that would be the risk. Yeah, so we'll get the runtime errors if we are lucky. If we are unlucky and correct data, make it all into the database. Oh shit! Like nulls in there, and so on. So uh, here, uh, what I did not say is that even if we get the runtime errors, it might be it's already gone through like process and saved the value somewhere and so on. So yeah, that might be uh, might cause some problems and 
potentially difficult cleanup of the data uh, you know like remove the uh, the bad values uh, those values could cause some problems like unexpected errors and so on Yeah, I'll finish it, don't worry. Okay, and they are... Okay, so for, for types they recommend some libraries. Run types is more approachable, but... IOTS is more powerful. Okay, so those are to execute program uses IOTS for incoming and ongoing data on every API request. So we've used it at least 10 times just during this lesson. Um, okay, and what they are doing differently, so the previous problems will not be done. I might have a look into that later, or maybe not. Okay, so they are checking them at the runtime, okay. Oh, so they throw some error, okay. Both of these libraries use advanced features in TypeScript. We don't recommend exploring them in detail until you've finished this course and done some projects in TypeScript, okay. And I'm done. Cool, cool, good, 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 good. So uh, the times is done. The times is over, which means we are done. And done is better than perfect. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.